Now, either you're a cat person or a dog person. Well, you're not an animal lover at all because you you got like, uh, you know, hay fever, all those kinds of problems. Oh, sorry, Candy. Yeah. Okay, so the vicious battle between the Vatican and the cats. In ancient Egypt, cats were venerated as the embodiment of the spirit of the goddess Besset. So holy were they, even their images, that when the Persians invaded Egypt in 525 BC, they adorned the shields with the images of cats in hope that the Egyptians would be reluctant to throw spears at them. The strategy worked and the Persians won the Battle of Perusium in Egypt. Fast forward about 1700 years and you'll find that people in other parts of the world had quite different ideas about cats. In the 13th century, Pope Gregory, Pope from 1227 to 1241, believed that the cats actually carried the spirit of Satan himself with them. Since that time, black cats have symbolized bad luck or a curse to people not only in Europe, but throughout the world. How did this come about? Many of you had heard about the Spanish Inquisition, the men who traveled to Spain in search of the heretics and the witches. They browbeat and tortured people to confess their allegiance to Satan or the false doctrine of the Protestants. Well, the Inquisition was not only a Spanish affair, and the body existed in the Catholic Church hundreds of years before the Spanish went mad for burning people at the stake. The Gallia Innocent Cat, believed to be representative of Bassett, photo Ishmael Schultz. The papal inquisitor, de Gregory, was, I think it was Gregory IV, was Conrad of Marburg, who had his own beliefs about cats. To back them up, he could show the Pope evidence of people who worshipped Satan and that black cats that he resided in Marburg had confession. Initiates would have been approached by a giant toad as a large dog and then a pale man would appear. The initiate would be coaxed into kissing the man and from that moment he or she will forget the allegiance to the church. According to confessions, the initiates took other parts... The others took part in black masses to worship Satan. A statue of a black cat would come to life, walking backwards through the meeting. Each person there would then plant a kiss. Well, you can guess where. The orgies, both hetero and homo, took place in darkness. The candles would be lit to light the room, and a man would emerge from the corner of a meeting place. His upper body would almost be blindly bright, but his lower body would be covered in cat's fur. 1223 to 1234... The Catholic Church and those loyal to it began to exterminate cats in the belief that they were agents of Satan. Do you get where I'm getting at here? A blessing would be to read and the meeting adjourned. Of course, these confessions came out in extreme discomfort. That is, torture, medieval torture. No wonder every cat was seen as the agent of Lucifer. Who knows what Conrad was smoking if he just sees on the way to grab power or he actually believed the confessions that he actually essentially fed his victims under torture. Conrad showed evidence to Pope Gregory who issued a papal bill bull, essentially laying down a doctrine for the church entitled Vox in Rama or a voice in Rama, an Israel city mentioned many times in the Bible. In the bull, Gregory added that the devil worshippers would take to the Easter communion but go home with the bread still in their mouths. At home, they would spit the body of Christ into lantern. So in 1233-34, the Catholic Church and those loyal to it, which is virtually everyone in the Western Europe, began to exterminate cats. Of course, it wasn't just innocent animals that were caught up in this atrocity, but people as well. Thousands were accused of being witches or devil worshippers, either tortured, killed, or both, as in any persecution. Neighbours turned against hated neighbours and those different from them, deflect attention and prove their loyalty to the church in Gregory. As part of the black masses worshipped the Satan, according to confessions extracted by by the papal inquisitor, the statue of a black cat would come to life walking backwards through the meeting. Some historians believe that the killing of so many cats was linked to the plague. This is where I was getting to. The plague didn't just strike in the mid-1300s. It had been around for some time and killed people afterwards. Some are still around now. It is actually still around now. Some attribute the killing of cats to the belief that they caused the plague, and of course the plague come from, yes, Satan. Actually, the killing of so many cats contributed, likely contributed to the spread of plague, as the rodents carrying them flourished without their natural enemy hunting them. The cat genocide petered out after the death of so many and the death of Gregory. But Europe and the church wasn't done persecuting cats. During another witch hunt frenzy in the late 1400, cats were killed en masse once again as they were believed to be familiars of the witches. Pope actually ordered cats officially excommunicated. Which is truly weird, but for any cats that wished to take communion, it was likely a tragedy. The persecution of cats, or at least the images, lived on in Elizabeth, England, where the Queen's coronation included a burning of a cat stuffy 
effigy. Yes, an effigy, probably the devil. Stuff with cat live cats. Golden age, indeed. In Belgium, the cat insert, I can't say that, sorry, which was born in 1955 as an excuse for a parade, as a way to celebrate the nation's history, includes the throwing of a cat plush toy out of the church tower, followed by a mock witch burning in the Middle Ages. They were real cats. Thankfully, most of the parade celebrates the cat's cuteness and is an excuse to party with the neighbours and kids. The Catholic Church, however, isn't done with cats and dogs. Thankfully, it's more humanitarian reason. Citing a study that showed that it in the richer countries of the world, expenditures on pets reach the billions and are fifth behind food, clothing, medicine, cosmetics as one of the worstest leaning expenditures. Pope Francis recommends less buying of costumes for pets and more giving to charity. That's a bit more reasonable. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, much love. Raise your vibrations. Bye.